Okay, where I'm at so far today, you can see I've <clears throat> put a bunch of the nose cross pieces on and I have a piece cut ready to fold and glue and staple it on to pl into place. It's going to go in between the bottom, well, I guess they're one by twos, actually full one by one and a half cross pieces. It'll slip in there and then after I test fit it anyway, you can see here I've taken the suspension off so that I could get it low enough to get it out this seven foot door. <laughs> So what I did was, you can see these two stubs with the threaded holes. Actually, that's a nut, grade eight nut welded in behind. That's two of the mounts for the suspension. The other two are further in, of course. And I've supported it with about three and five eighths inch of wood screwed together. And this will make the skid that I'll slide it out of the garage with. I'll probably put a little cross piece in here just so the trailer can't slip off the skid as I'm towing it. The garage is, has a polished finish so it shouldn't be too bad. The plan is to get the nose and one more sheet on today. And this side, I already have them on. This is a temporary brace. That's where the door goes. And of course, this two by four is a temporary brace just to hold the wall straight. I'm hoping that once I fold up the nose and glue it in place, I won't have much worries about keeping this thing square after that, provided I get the first one on nice and square. At any rate, that's where we're at today. I have another ladder like that, I gotta get it in so I can work on both sides at once. Without moving my ladder around all the time. Once I get done down to there, I'm going to make the wheel arch line it all with aluminum. But that won't be till tomorrow if I'm lucky. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.